Hi and welcome to the tutorial on the crater layer. In this tutorial we will be talking about how to measure different craters on the surface of Mars. The first thing you're going to do is go up to add a new layer and you're going to look for crater counting and click it. Now if you bring your mouse to the screen you'll see a black outline of a circle. If you left click your mouse you can draw a crater of that size. But if you want to change the size, you can do a couple of different things. You can either move your mouse scroll up or down, and it'll change by increments of 10. Or, so sometimes moving your scroll key by increments of 10 is too much. So if you go over to a crater, and you want to move it just slightly, you can hold the shift button in your mouse scroll and I'll move it by increments of one. You can also move it by using your plus or minus it on your keyboard if you don't have a scroll key. So for instance, if I press my plus button, you'll see it's changing by 10, just like if I were to be using my mouse. And the minus does the same thing. If you wanna use your keyboard in order to move it by increments of one, you would hold down the control button and then press your plus or minus and it'll move it by one. So we're going to draw a couple different craters. And we're going to go into our layer by double clicking. And if you go to craters, you'll see here that you can see all of the different craters that I've drawn. And if you want to change their color, you can. You can also see this area called Note. If you go down to the tab that says Notes, you can actually create different notes for different colors. And then as you add those craters, or if you change the color of the craters, those notes will be attached to those colors. And it'll show up in this Notes column. Below that, you'll see an area called Count Craters. This is a nice little query to find different things about your craters. For instance, if I want to know how many craters I have between 0 and 10 meters, I'd press Enter, and it's telling me I have 0 that meet that criteria. Do keep in mind that this is in meters, and right now we're drawing in kilometers. So if you want to change that, you can also do that by going to settings. You can change your increment sizes and the meters or kilometers. You can also change your default crater size for every time you bring in a new crater onto your main screen. And instead of drawing in black, if you want to draw new craters in white, you can change that. Below that, you'll see little notes on how to draw different craters, most of what we've gone over, but just in case you forget, they're right there. If you go to display, in this area, you can change a few things, including your alpha, which is basically your opacity of your craters. So you'll see as I move the scroll bar, my craters have become a lot lighter. You can change the outline of your crater also. It defaults to two, but you can change that to go up or down. And if you don't want them showing up in certain areas, you can click it and they'll disappear. So you'll notice as I unclick the panner, my craters will come back on my panner view. In the craters area, there's one more thing I want to show you. Your import area will allow you to bring in different shape files. Your export area will allow you to save and export these shape files or CSV files. And your config button is nice because if you click it, and you only want to save certain columns or certain information, you can come into your config button and choose which ones you want to save and don't want to save. So if I want to export this, but I don't want the note section, I just unclick it and press OK. We're going to exit out of here. One more thing I want to show you is if you go to your main screen and right click, you can click this area called crater mode. Here you can add a different way of adding craters. If you go to three point mode, this allows you to create a crater by adding three points. So for example, I'll draw three points, and on the third point, it'll draw my crater. 
So it's really nice and fast to use. You can also right click and go to remove last crater if you make a mistake. Well, that's it for the crater layer. Thanks for joining me.